And now in this video, we are going to check out when as expression. Now this when is actually the replacement of the switch case statement that is found in C language or the Java language. So let us explore when as expression as well. So inside the IntelliJ IDE, here I have simply defined a variable x equal to 2 and its value is final. Now instead of writing the switch case statement that we used to do in case of let's say Java, here we have the when statement. So when x the syntax is same, give it a space and then inside the code block, let us write our code. Let's say if x, if the value of x is equal to 1, then simply put a dash followed by arrow and then simply write the code here. Print line x is 1, right? And now similarly, if the value of x is equal to 2, then simply execute this line of code. Let's say print line x is 2, right? Now here, let us run the code. So we get the output as x is 2. Now here, notice we don't have to write any break statement or the continue statement in case of switch case statement, unlike in Java or C++ where we used to write the break statements everywhere. Now similar to Java, we also have a default statement in case of when clause. So the default statement in case of when is actually represented with the help of else, right? So we need to write the else part here. And again, the syntax is dash followed by arrow. Now let us print x value is unknown, right? And now here I will simply change it to let's say 5. Let us now run the code. And in the output, we have x value is unknown just because the x value is 5 and we have just written the code for 1 and 2, not for 5. So the else part is executed. And now we can also have the code block in case of inside the when clause such as code block here and then code block here. Now inside which we can simply write our codes, multiple lines of code such as print ln x value is unknown and also let us print ln I don't know what is x. Let us run the code. So here we get x value is unknown. I don't know what is x. Now similar to else part, you can also put the code block here like this. And here again, you can simply put the multiple lines of code inside this, right? Like we have done in case of else part here. And now suppose I have the value of let's say x equal to 0. Now here if you want to execute the multiple condition in just one statement then what you can do is you can simply use 0 comma 1. So here the x value is 0 or 1 right. So you can combine multiple conditions here as well or you can also add 3 or 4 or something like that but let's try it out with 0 and 1. So in the output console, we have x is either 0 or 1, like this. And now, apart from this, we can also use the range in case of values here. Let's say x is equal to 1, right? And now suppose here, if I use the range of 1 dot dot, let's say 20, or let's change it to let's say 11. And here, I will simply use the in operator in space 1 dot dot 20. So this range of values contains a value from 1 to 20, which also includes 11 as well. So this condition will simply return true and this statement will be executed. So here, let me change the print statement. X lies in, let's say 1 to 20, right? So in the output console, we have X lies in 1 to 20. Now also you can use the not operator here, fine. So the compiler, when the condition becomes false here, will simply look for the match here. And again, if it won't find the match, then by default, it will simply execute the else part here. So now let us run the code. So here we get x value is unknown. I don't know what is x, right? So you can simply use the range here in case of when statement. And now the topic of discussion for this video was actually when as expression. So suppose if I define a string, let's say where space str 
let's say it is of the type of string and now if I want to print something here let's say if x is equal to 1 and here let us simplify the code as well print x is 1 right so here what I will do is instead of printing some value I will simply assign str equal to let's say x is 1 and then again str equal to let's say x is 2 and similarly in the else part as well I will simply assign str equal to x value is unknown and simply remove the last statement right and at last I will simply print str and now let us run the code so in the output we have x is 1 that is this statement has been executed and the value of str becomes x is 1 now in this way you can simply assign the values when some condition is actually matched now similar to the if statement we can also use the when statement as expression so in that case what you will do is simply cut it from here control x and then simply paste it just beside the when statement and then simply use the equal to operator now here what is happening is when this condition is actually matched then it will simply return this value and this value will be assigned to this str variable right so let us remove the str variable from here and let us simplify our code fine so here x is 1 x is 2 and x value is unknown let us see what happens to this str variable and here we get x is 1 in the output just because this condition is actually matched now suppose if I put the value of x as 100 so this condition else part will be executed because 1 is not matched with x and 2 is not matched with x now suppose if I print here let's say x is an alien right now in this situation what will happen because we have two string expressions inside the else part x value is unknown x is an alien so in this situation let's see what happens in the output console so in the output console we are getting x is an alien now what happens is that whatever statement we have inside the code block at the end is actually returned so x is an alien is actually returned and stored inside the str string variable and whatever code that we have written here will actually be unused or it is actually the redundant code we are simply wasting the memory so here you can notice the expression is actually unused right so always remember this whatever you write at the end of the code block is actually returned and assigned to this variable right so this is all about using when as expression here the when statements is actually acting as an expression and returning some value so in future forget about the switch case statement and simply adapt to the when expression thanks for watching and have a good day